la 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 Beautiful. All right. Let's do this. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Trippy Talk with Joshua Gore. We are back for are. another Trippy Talk episode. Yes, and today we are talking about strange noises. <laughs> Specifically, strange and mysterious sky sounds. Well, we don't know if they're from the sky. I think they're just strange noises in general. That's true. <laughs> we don't know if they're from the sky. But people, when they hear these noises and sounds, are always looking up as if they're coming from well, the sky. Well, naturally, because we don't really ever think it would be on right, the ground, but, but I think it could be. It could. They don't even know what we're talking about yet. Let's slow down here. If you are not subscribed to Josh, then you may not have seen his video on sonic boom sounds that have been heard around the world. That's only one of the type of sounds that have been heard around the world, actually. There are not only sonic booms and loud like machinery sounds and just creepy Robotic sounds. Robotic sounds, sounds yeah. Um, but there are also what, trumpets. People are hearing trumpets. The video that I made about these strange noises was specifically focused more on the loud explosion sounds, booming sounds that are heard. Like literally people in odd times of day randomly are hearing like ba boom, ba boom. Ba boom. It like, sounds repeatedly over and over again. Yeah, and not only that, but they're all over the world. Like they're literally they've been heard in almost every country. Here just in Denver, we found out recently, like the last couple months, there have been these noises here and all over the country people are reporting this and even the local news media is starting to cover it. Experts are just baffled about what it could be. I'm calling because we're hearing continuous sounds like explosions. We're hearing loud explosions. My house is shaking. The horses are freaking out. Uh, does anybody know what's going on? It sounded like thunder, but like I said, you could feel the ground shake, and, and it does not. It was nothing like an earthquake. You know, we felt the earthquakes before, and it's nothing like that. You definitely knew it wasn't a firework going off. As far as I believe, EFD dispatched some fire people. I'm, I'm sure EPD dispatched people to the area. Um, at the end of the day, we've not been able to find anything. Crews scoured the area, but didn't find anything. Um, it, it had to be something uh, a little bit uh, different than the typical explosion. But what? It wasn't an earthquake. The USGS doesn't have reports of any activity in our area. Some people have suggested a nearby mine was firing off explosion. But when we called Vigo, which is opening a mine near Boonville, they said their permit does not allow them to blast from dusk till dawn. And the Air Force says it wasn't performing any military drills either. Authorities say, at least for now, it will remain a mystery. This neighborhood, the folks here seem to have heard this the best. The police chief stopped short of saying they're investigating, but did make it clear that they want to figure out what the heck happened here last night. Curiosity is swirling in the Lock Bowie community. One boom, boom, and then the vibration stood out and definitely made me wonder what it was. Those living in the Silver Peaks neighborhood report hearing that loud boom at around 9 o'clock on Monday night. It wasn't just a small vibration. It shook the whole neighborhood. Others called 911 to report what they thought might be an explosion. Emergency crews responded but found nothing out of the ordinary. Everybody was standing outside trying to figure out what happened. An update on the Lock Bowie Police Facebook page was met with hundreds of people commenting on the boom's reach. The USGS only saw a spike in noise. Northcom says there were were no jets and an astronomer tells us a meteor from the current shower wouldn't reach the ground, leaving many right where they started, searching for answers. It's a big mystery, yeah. Now we did also reach out to the Oil and Gas Commission to see if there were any issues with any of the nearby fracking sites. We haven't heard back from them just yet and guys of course there is one other idea floating around out there and that's the possibility that maybe aliens had something to do with this but of course that's been a little tough to confirm or deny tonight some strange noises heard around the world the last few weeks has uh, people buzzing especially on youtube youtube videos from places all over the world has got people talking about the strange moaning noise that was supposedly in the sky 
Muitos moradores de Taubaté tomaram um susto hoje. Marcelo Espanha, boa noite para você. Conta melhor essa história para gente. sounds like explosions. Listen to these sounds. These are more like machinery type sounds. Sounds a lot like the Transformers. Like that's what the machinery noises kind of sound kind like. Kind of, so, yeah, yeah, sort of. I mean, maybe not quite as robotic, but more like yeah, metal screeching. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Finally, there are also trumpet sounds. <laughs>
Did you guys hear that? I think a lot of the trumpet sound videos might be faked more than anything else because normally when I find videos of these trumpet sounds it's oftentimes it's from because it's actually in the Bible that when the apocalypse happens, there'll be trumpet sounds. That's like what it says, right? When Jesus returns. Yeah, it marks the second coming of Jesus or the rapture. <laughs> and yeah, Christians think that there will be trumpet noises that are that sound. And then a lot well, of, you know, maybe they're shit right. will go down. I mean, who knows? <laughs> like, right? None of us know. So it could be, could be Jesus just coming down. Most of the other sounds, the booms, the machinery sounds, those are mostly real. I don't know. I just think people should be like well, somewhat skeptical about yeah, it. But when it's it, on the news, like we know a lot of these are real. Right. Most of them, right. likely. But obviously we can't like f possibly figure out every piece of evidence to these sounds, whether or not they're real or fake. I'm not an audio specialist. But there I, are plenty that know. have been confirmed. Yes, there have been, correct. So these sounds are real no matter what. So I think it's important before we jump into all the possible crazy theories as to what these sounds are, what's causing them, or the conspiracy theories around them. I think it's important to note that obviously the number one agency or company that everybody's gonna be looking to is NASA to answer these sounds. They have all and, the answers. Right, we just assume that NASA has all the answers, which as we all know, they don't, and they don't often provide any information or lie straight to our faces. So. NASA came out and had to respond to a lot of these mysterious noises and booms and trumpet noises and their answer was very very vague and very short and sweet. I mean they didn't give a ton of detail at all. All they said is that the earth can make background noises which generally we don't hear because you have to have some sort of radio transmitter in order to hear them. They're not audible to our ears but maybe there's some crazy atmospheric conditions going on or possibly environmental conditions or possibly even Changing. the tectonic plates are grinding. But it, it's very odd because I feel like there would be a lot more evidence that they would provide if it was a natural phenomenon, yeah. don't you think? Because yeah. NASA would want to stop like, this out. I don't know, it could be this, it could be this. Right. They didn't say, oh no, this is definitely this, this is what it's caused by, these sounds have been happening forever. No. It's like, oh, we kind of don't know, here's our best shot at it. <laughs> right, NASA along with the mainstream media as well as law enforcement agencies, when they try to attempt to explain this, they're, everybody is dumbfounded by this. Yeah. All these mysterious noises and really nobody knows what's going on, so. And of course we've gone to the military as well because that's another place that we look to for answers for loud, strange right. noises because you think, it's, if anyone has like secret technology or you know some some Doing type of crazy weapon, stuff like that, it's yeah. them. So they didn't even have a good answer. No, I mean they've all, every time that the military bases in the particular places where these sounds are heard are asked about, is this you guys? Like, are you guys doing some sort of exercise or is this some sort of new military equipment? And they're always like, nope, no missions planned during this time when this boom or sound was heard, so it wasn't us. Which they could just be straight up lying to all of us and it is them. So that is one scenario. You think though if they were trying to hide something, they would just say it was them. Yeah, that's where it tests. Yeah, or like make it make up an excuse. Because most people won't dig further than that. They'll be like, oh the government's doing it, it's fine. I trust them and they'll be done with it. Another interesting thing that a lot of scientists have said about this is that it could be ginormous waves like hitting rocks in coastal cities. But this doesn't just happen on the coast. That's the thing is like almost all the explanations are like, well, in that area, it could have been this. In this area, it could have been that. Like there's like a new theory based on where the sound was when in reality, these sounds are happening everywhere and they are not literally everywhere able too. to be explained by anything we understand. That's just facts. Thousands of people are coming forward and saying mm -hmm. they're hearing these mysterious noises and sounds and they're, 
you know, little town in Ohio or Iowa, you know, in places where you would never expect something like this to happen. Now, another theory that is natural is it could be space quakes. A lot of people are like, well, maybe it's like meteors hitting each other or asteroids, hitting, but it's like really that often, like, and we're hearing these weird things and space rocks could cause noises like that. Yeah, I mean, Possibly. I think it's possible or like explosions far away um, yeah. or like, what if it's like war between right. alien races right. in the sky and we're hearing it. <laughs> yeah, it could be a straight up alien war going on above us in outer space. Well, this and this is, you know, a quick detour into ancient <laughs> alien theories for a second, but you know, in old, in a lot of old civilizations, they would report, you know, they had like the gods would battle back and forth in the sky and there were these like huge explosions and wars going up above the planet. Um, is it possible that they weren't like gods, but they were just alien races? Right. Uh, it's possible that there's been like space war going on yeah, forever. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> a lot of people like to theorize that the sounds and noises are really alien spaceships that are just cruising around the earth and you know coming in and out of our atmosphere or, and therefore we're yeah, going down. in and out of our atmosphere if they're I mean if they do have like really advanced technology it is possible that they could have some type of invisibility right tech, like technology or maybe <laughs> We're really going down the rabbit hole now, but, <laughs> but <laughs> this is a trippy talk man but, this is the place to do it yes but maybe it's when this because obviously in order for aliens to travel across space they need to be able to travel through wormholes or you know be able to manipulate space and time so maybe as they're coming out of a vacuum it makes, it makes that like sort that. of sound mm -hmm. that weird sound i mean who knows we don't know it could definitely be something it like definitely. that definitely i mean I, nothing surprises me anymore like <laughs> as soon as you realize that no one yeah. on this planet really knows shit, you're like oh yeah it could be anything. Everything's like, a possibility. Everyone should point. be part of the discussion of trying to figure it out too and, and thinking about things like this. If more people opened their mind and thought like this, we'd probably be a lot more, you know, evolved at this yeah, point. Yeah, we would be a higher evolved race for sure. We'll take it back down to earth a little bit here. We went a little mile higher. <laughs> Getting ready for our podcast. <laughs> if you guys also, let me just say that real fast. Our podcast is coming out January 7th, so really, really soon. We have a link to the YouTube channel that will be on, and then we'll have more sources and we'll do more announces later, but announces. More announces later. <laughs> so one other possibility for the origin of these strange sounds is extraterrestrials are sending us an auditory message to earthlings and maybe we just don't know how to listen to it or understand it or maybe there are people that do know what they're saying and we just don't know we're left out and it could be an answer an auditory answer an auditory answer to the arcebo message Maybe. If you don't know what the Arcebo message is, it's a message that was sent by NASA Carl Sagan in 1974. And it was a really simple kind of glyph looking thing. Um, hopefully it was beamed at something light years away, a galaxy light yeah, years away system, from us, yeah. a star system. And it was returned in a crop circle. So if you haven't seen our crop circle video, we explained the whole thing, but that is true. We did receive a, a response. Visual, like a, a visual, visual message. Response. So maybe now they're like, Beep, 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 wake up. I don't know. I just think they would know that we wouldn't receive <laughs> that. So I just, I really, to be real, I think there's some sinister shit going up with these noises. You think it's man-made? Yeah, I don't really think it's aliens as much. I wouldn't be surprised if it's, I think if it's here on our planet, chances are it was our own fucking humans that made the sounds. So let's look into some of those creepy possibilities. One of the most popular theories as to what these sounds are coming from is from a secret military, I guess it's not really secret per se, but it, it's a government or military program called HARP. It's real. Which is real, and you can Google it. It's, it's in Alaska. HARP is the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. And this is a military defense program that has had a lot of controversy around it for many years now. And a lot of conspiracy theorists and just people in general believe that it may be some sort of electromagnetic weapon used to basically weaponize the weather and manipulate the weather and weather patterns using electromagnetic 
uh, waves, I believe. Basically, it's the idea that you would be turning weather into a weapon right. against the people. Right. Uh, just like any other, you know, false flag attack if you believe in conspiracy theories. They would be able to create storms, hurricanes, tsunamis, all sorts of different By things. manipulating weather Earthquakes. patterns. Earthquakes, right. And this does exist, this um, program definitely does exist. What they're exactly doing is... We don't know, it's secret, yeah. top secret. I just feel like we're not... Th those sounds just sounded so wrong. Like, it sounded like we were doing something we weren't supposed to do. They just sound... They're really yeah. eerie, yeah. They're yeah. just strange. It sounds like a weapon sound or something, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Like. What if it's like military stuff that we just don't know about? Like, what if it's some type of new type of bomb or like new a new weapon like there was um nikola tesla had a oh god i forget the name of it it was like some type of ray like a lightning ray or something crazy that he had in the works hmm. like let me hang on let me just look this up for a second yeah it's an electromagnetic weapon yep. yep so and it was in the 1920s to 1930s pretty much what harp would be and they kind Possibly, of stole yeah. it from yeah. yep laser weapon weapon system mm -hmm. uh the u.s navy has a laser laser weapon system right in developed in mid 2014. all sorts of preparation for what seems like a possible space war that's my feeling is that um, the military is developing the these weapons and testing all of these things in the event of a space war what if like there's some type of world space army that like the world has come together the un united nations or something and that's why these are heard all around the world because there's labs and testing all around the world it's not the first time that we have worked with other countries you know operation paperclip working with germans to develop new weapons and you know bombs <laughs> so that leads us to project Bluebeam, the idea that NASA or all of these space programs slash militaries of the world are essentially preparing for a fake alien invasion on Earth mm -hmm. so that they I can about this in my last implement blog. the New World Order and sort of take over planet Earth, make us terrified of extraterrestrials. We don't know that this is true. Like, we're just literally no, just guessing I mean, on a lot of this. There's um, a lot more to Project Bluebeam, too, that really gets. You know, goes dicey. down the the rabbit hole, and yeah. I don't even want to go into that right now because it's just so it's almost it's very depressing, honestly. So <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to talk about that right now, but maybe on the podcast. But I don't know these sounds. I mean, they could be natural. Like, what if it is some type of earthquake or something deep, deep underground? Like, That's I was just thing. reading today on Twitter. There was some article about how we barely gotten into the surface of the Earth. Like, right? Yeah, we barely. I mean, we've only we gone down, down like. <laughs> teeny tiny bit there's of like Earth's dragons crust. they're like animals that live under there like <laughs> Dude, lava animals for all we know there could be some <laughs> sort of creature there that has never been discovered but basically no one knows what these sounds are but we want to know what you guys think so leave us a comment um if you've ever heard these sounds yes. please leave us a comment Let we would us love know. to know if you've heard any of these yourself um but pretty interesting stuff Yes, very interesting indeed. And we can't wait to get more in depth into a lot of these topics on our podcast. Be sure to subscribe. There'll be a link below. Be sure to subscribe to Josh's channel. He makes such interesting content, you guys. It's been blowing my mind all the, every time I watch your videos. I watched like three today. I was like, oh my god. Yes, and, really interesting. And honestly, this kind of video plays off of my last video, which was the zoo theory oh yes and if you don't know <laughs> don't what the even zoo tell theory is you guys will have to go watch it go, go watch, watch it. it linked below if you guys liked this video please give us a thumbs up it helps us a lot in the youtube searches and make sure you're subscribed because youtube keeps on subscribing people <laughs> from me so just double check on that and that's it for me today guys i hope you're having a great day and we will see, see you next time, time.